Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. But before we get started, let's do this thing. Sub, like, bell. <laughs> so if you couldn't tell, I got my little uh, my little animation working again. And I, I, seriously, go like, comment, and subscribe. I've got a competition for you. And I will bring that up right now maybe if i can find the correct window because we are going to be doing a giveaway okay so boom right here i have uh, i have three four day passes to give away for pax east okay so if you're if you're in the united states you can be you can enter uh if an entry comes up and it's not somebody from the united states then i gotta get rid of the entry and then i'm gonna have to do it again anyhow what you can do is um if you're a winner if you get picked then i will send you uh well i will give your name to uh the pax east uh representative and they will send you a four-day pass it's 235 dollars if you just buy the purchase or like if you purchase the pass but it's for pax east 2022 and it's happening in april 21st through april 24th and it's going to be out in boston massachusetts at a big convention center anyhow me and my whole family we are going as content creators because i've got my collaborators which are hope and oliver and then i've got my accounts manager which is my wife and we are all going to have uh passes to get into the the thing an hour early and to go conduct interviews and to record ourselves and have fun it's going to be amazing and i highly recommend if you've never been to a convention before go to pax as your first one because pax is much calmer than like the comic cons and stuff like that comic con gets crazy out of control but pax is penny arcade exchange and it's a whole bunch of independent um uh game makers it's a whole bunch of dungeons and dragons magic the gathering cosplay just an amazing thing how can you enter well first off if you log in you're automatically entered for one so just going to the link in the video description down below and you will get an entry one entry if you visit my youtube uh page you will get three entries if you're watching this on youtube right now that you're probably you know eligible but you gotta like click the button that they say send to you if you follow me over on twitter you'll get three more entries if you uh share this giveaway with your friends you'll have an option of you can share it up to five times you're only uh, action required to unlock the the worth entries is one and you um get a point per entry so it's worth one entry per person that you share it with and in order to get at least one point you have to share it once um, and then you will get an additional 10 entries for doing all three of the actions so visiting twitter and sharing it'll give you an additional 10 entries so increase your chances and uh let's head over here to pax east and i'm going to show you a little bit about it and then we're going to go into lumber and i'm actually going to um try and build their logo out of some lava wood that's that's my plan oh my goodness um so the badges are in sale 235 dollars for the four day passes if you wanted to just go for one day like say you're in the boston area and you're like hey i'll go on friday you can purchase a one day pass um but the four day passes i've got three of them that i can give away so um if you head over to where is it uh expo hall is it expo hall uh no 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 no. that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to show you the schedule no where, where's the thing where's the the whole thing okay enforcers locations it's going to be here in the boston convention and exposition center uh 415 summer street boston massachusetts uh there are the hours and the days that uh they'll be going on and um where's all the features here we go features so uh they've got a bunch of panels where you you can uh either sign up or stand in line and they they've got a whole bunch of people who stand up and talk about video games and um you can see up and coming different ones they don't have the schedule out yet i mean it's still a little ways away you have until april uh this giveaway is only going to last until sunday i think at midnight central time maybe it's like two o'clock eastern and 10 o'clock western i think anyhow uh the expo hall 
they have a whole bunch of people who will come out. They've got Discord, they got Twitch, they got Twitter, they got uh, Nintendo, Xbox, whole bunch of different people who will come out and show their new games coming out and stuff like that. Um, they have Omegathon, and what this is, okay, if you're into video games, they're going to have video game competitions that you can sign up for the entire time, all the way from, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can sign up for your different console. You can compete in Xbox. You can compete on uh, Switch. You can compete. I, I think they even have a Oculus VR. So you can compete in competitions and win prizes. Get your name in the paper, stuff like that. Uh, let's head back one. PAX Arena. Okay, this is the thing that I usually get an invite to. Um, they don't usually send those out until like about a month before it starts. And then uh, I, I have to rush to try and to get up to, to speed with whatever video game it is. Uh, last time it was Brawlhalla. And the time before that we played, what was it, Soul Calibur 6? Something like that. Oh my gosh. I took fifth place in both of those, by the way. Took fifth in uh, Boston 2020. And I took uh, fifth place in... Seattle 2021. So very fun. Lots of awesome PAX uh, competitions. And it's not just the stream stars. It's not just like the celebrities who get up there. You can also go and sign up for their competitions. They've got um, like 200 computers that they set out. It's amazing. I got pictures of it on uh, my last adventure. Um, the band land. What is this? Oh, this is where you get to uh, meet and greet some of your favorite content creators, uh, talented con 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 creators. Uh, they also have a series of merch vendors and stuff like that. Um, tons of plushies. All right, so there's a, there's a ton of plushies. Um, pin trading. A lot of them, a lot of the stands, a lot of the vendors will have a, like a tray of pins that you can pick up and put on your bandolier, uh, on your your badge holder. And at the end of the, at the, end of the days, uh, you can actually go and trade them with like a whole bunch of other people So maybe there was a couple that you didn't pick up or maybe you're looking for some from 2020 or PAX West And it's a huge trading convention um, What else they've got the diversity lounge where what is this? Gaming community is wonderful and diverse place and the diversity lounge is meant as a celebration of that whether you count yourself among the underrepresented or just want to learn more about your friends the diversity lounge is where it's at um last time i saw this it was a whole bunch of different consoles and mobile devices so like the the switch nintendo game boys uh a lot of like older consoles the, the handhelds um huge thing uh there is a handheld lounge as well so excellent place to take a break to, uh, if you get tired and stuff there's going to be food vendors all over the place uh pax xp okay these are really cool. On the, hold on. So this one was in um, Seattle. Uh, and on the back of this, it's got a little QR code. I don't know if you can see it there. Anyhow. With the QR code, they have a whole bunch of these little stands and this whole um, storyline. So, like, they'll make up this story of um, you were a camper and you're taken in tradition of this um, egg hunt. And basically, the whole story plot line is these little kiosks that are all, are all around the, um, the convention center right and it'll be on different levels it'll be in different rooms and you have to take your badge and go unlock it it'll give you part of the storyline and give you a hint as to where the next one's at you take your badge and you go around and there's usually about five or six of them and then once you collect them all you take them back up to the front and you can turn them in and they give you prizes so like if, if you're first you get like this really big prize if you're like after 200 you get like a smaller prize but it's it's very cool and you get to take a photo at like each one of the things that you go around to sorry i'm getting all excited um they also have the tabletop expo hall um tabletop is where you play that like the dungeons and dragons games stuff like that um hold on this is the place to see the latest and greatest tabletop designers and publishers collected for all your enjoyment. Tabletop Free Play has hundreds of tables um, and a bag of holding worth 
of lending library titles that you can check out and play. So say that you're going around the expo hall and you kind of get tired and you want to take a one in the afternoon, say Friday afternoon at three o'clock, you can sign up for a table and basically you and your family could sit down or you and your friends could sit down and play a, a quick round of Dungeons and Dragons or like a quick round Dungeons and Dragons takes hours. Um, but they have free tables that you can take and they'll have games that you can check out play there at the table and then like maybe eat some food and, and relax for a little bit turn it back in and go back into the expo hall expo hall uh they also have console free play which is over the years collected an absolute bonkers library of consoles and different games figured make them all available to the attendees to play along the show another great thing you stand in line for a second and then you sign up for whatever console you want to play and whatever title they usually have this, like this huge menu of all the different games that you can go and play. So say there's a game that you've never played before and you wanted to play it, they'll have it here so you can try it out. Um, Children's Play Charity, founded in 2003. I haven't done this one yet. So um, provide games and technologies to over 180 children's hospitals worldwide. Be the gamer that gives back and supporting the official charity of PAX. Uh, they also have an AFK room. Uh, which is where you can regain your calm and take a break from the hustle of the show. Brought to you by the friends of TakeThis.org. Uh, PC area. So if you want a BYOC, which is bring your own computer, you can bring your own laptop, bring your own gaming machine, and they'll designate a space for you. You just sign up for uh, the power outlet and the internet cable. I think that's all you need and you can sit down and plug in and they'll have a whole bunch of land games and set you up. It's awesome. Uh, PAX East Indie Showcase. This is for the, the independent developers games. Uh, lots of independent developers. They have like just tons and tons of different new up and coming people. Uh, I think that's where I, I met the guy that does um, the, the cat game, Nico, Nico Jump. Nico Ghost Jump, Ghost Nico Jump. I've got it on my channel. I've played it before. Amazing game. Uh, that's also where I found out about Calico. So I was able to play Calico for the first time before it was ever released. Um, and then Pax Rising. List of independent developers who can't wait to show off their new stuff. Again, all new developers, all new stuff. Pax together, create section games, play on backgrounds, perspectives, blah, 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 blah. Tournaments. There's going to be tournaments all over the place. Anyhow, like I said, um, if you want to go out to the website, PAX East, sorry, east.paxsite.com, excuse me, um, they will have the schedule up eventually. It's not there yet, uh, but they do have hotels and travels and a whole bunch of different things that you can do. Um, and you'll get a bigger discount than if you're just trying it through by yourself because what they'll do is they'll purchase a whole bunch of bundles around around the area and then have those available on the website for you to purchase um if you want, also want to come and become a um a what is it enforcer you can also uh set up to be an exhibitor you can set up to be an enforcer which uh is in basically security guards so if you're looking for um, like a temporary job or if you're looking to make some money, you can sign up and, and register. Anyhow, back to this. Um, if you want, I have three passes that I'm allowed to give away. It's going to be for four day passes. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this uh, giveaway in the description down below. Holy cow, that was a lot to get across. I'm amazed I didn't get logged out. Was that past 20 minutes? Jeez. No, it was 14 minutes. So, man. Uh, I talked a lot during that time. Um, I hope you guys were following. And if not, that's cool too. I don't know where to start. We should probably do this all in wedges, shouldn't we? So let's take a look at the image of PAX. Okay, it looks like a square to start off the top, so... Let's just go to regular floors and we're going to do a rotate. No, a turn. We're going to do a turn and it's going to go like that. Oh wait, should I face it the opposite direction? I should face it out this way. I guess it doesn't really matter because nobody else is going to be seeing this. 
Uh, and then we are going to need, I think, if I hit B, <laughs> go to walls and I do a short wall, rotate. I should be able to do this, right? Is that too short? That looks about right. And then I should be able to do, let's see, uh, B, done. Two, go over to the floor. Let's do a large floor, rotate. Large floor gonna be too much? That's way too much. So let's do just a regular floor. And we'll do one here. And one here. All right, that looked good. Okay, and then looks like it might be um, a stud, but we'll go to wedges, and I need a 45 degree one by one. That's a four by four. That's a three by three. That's a one by one. Ooh, is it just one? I bet a one would work. Let's go up here, rotate. Turn, oh gosh, turn, rotate, rotate, nope, rotate, rotate, there we go. Like that. It looks like it might be a little bit bigger than that. So let's go, let's go with the 2-2. Two, two. Let's hit B. Let's go with 2-2-1. Two, two, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's what it looks like. And we'll go ahead and destroy this one. Destroy. Ow, that's so loud. Go here. And then I should be able to get walls. And we want a smooth wall. Smooth wall is too far. Let's do smooth wall. Too long. What about a short smooth wall? Short smooth wall, short smooth. Yeah, that'll work. One there, and then that looks like uh, just a regular tile. So, if we go to floors, tiles. Is it small floor or floor? It's small floor. Bless you! <laughs> My wife sneezed in the other room. Awesome, all right, so we got the P done. Um, let's hit B, switch back over here, and we'll go ahead and fill this in real quick. Just because I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do all these. Oh my gosh, my nose. I got to Coronas. I better not say that. Get demonetized. Falsehood. He doesn't have Corona. He's got his shots. Which I don't mind. I don't mind that people know that I've got my shots. I got the first one, and uh, it was the Johnson & Johnson, and then I also got the uh, the booster, so I've technically only had two shots. A lot of people did the, uh, the Moderna and the other one, Pfizer, which would require two shots, uh, both separated out by like a certain amount of time or something like that. I didn't want to do that, so I just got the Johnson & Johnson. One shot, one time. We're good. And then, oh, you need a booster. Okay, I'll go get a booster. There we go. Still got the cold somehow. I mean, it wasn't Coronas, so that's good. I didn't realize that this is not a one by one. This is like a 1.5 by 1.5. So the amount that it takes doesn't take the same amount. Okay, and for the A, let's see here. How does this work? For the A, it looks like they're 45 two by twos. So, hold on, out. Let's go to the wedges. <laughs> Where's the two by two by one? Two by two by one. Two by two by one. Rotate. Is that how big those were? Yeah. And, yeah, it is the same angle. So, turn, turn, rotate. So the A is going to be looking like this. One here. And then it looks like it might be a small wall. 
or a short wall. <laughs> Let's go to the walls. Short, smooth. Put one right in the middle, like that. B. And then we'll go back over to the wedges. And we're going to do the 2x2x1. Two by two by rotate, rotate. Right there. And now, this one looks a little bit different. Because it's... Oh, that looks kind of short. Okay. So, I would say it's going to be a two by three by one. Let's see. Rotate, rotate, turn, turn. One here. And then one here. Oh dear goodness me. Nope. We're, we're gonna need taller than that. Um, what was this, two by three? So is there a two by four, I wonder? Let's destroy. And destroy. And let's go to two, two by four. By one, two by four by one. There we go. Two by four by one. Oh, that's perfect, dude. That couldn't have gotten more perfect. That is awesome. <laughs> Looks a little thin, thinner, thinner than I would like, but you know what? That's okay. How many would that have taken? One, two, three? It might have taken three. We got it a little bit fatter. Hold on. Let's let's try this real quick. Destroy. And destroy. And we're just gonna move this out. Uh, let's see. Rotate, turn, turn. Rotate. So we need one two to make them even. I think that's how far we need it. And then let's go back to the uh, the two by three. Is it two by three? It's not two by two. It's got to be two by three. So turn, turn like that. One, two, And three. Oh, come on, come on. Get in there. Ooh, it's gonna make it fatter than I need it. That's more aesthetic, I guess. Because this is the proper size. Like that is that is the proper P for what I'm looking at. But this looks like it's going to be one off. And I don't want that, so. Um, hmm. Hold on, is there a one by two by one? Let's destroy that. Let's see if I have a smaller one. Those were, what, two by threes? So, do we have a one by two? One by two by one? Is that the same angle? It's not the same angle. But I bet we can get more in there. Two, three, four. Would that be the height? It's about the height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rotate, rotate. One, two, three. Whoa, I messed that up. Destroy. What was this again? It was a uh, one by two. Move. We're just, we're just looking. We're just looking. Trying to make 
the best out of it. One, two. I think that's what I want to do. I mean, it's going to take a, a little bit more effort to throw them in there, but that's okay. One, two, three. Four. There we go. Okay. And we can destroy. Wait. It's the same angle. In fact, it's the same. Okay, you goof. Alright. Destroy this. Destroy this. Destroy this. Sorry, it's going to get loud here for a second. It's the same size. It's the same angle. I'm just looking at it from a weird perspective, that's all. So we want these. Uh, and what was this? This is 2 by 4 by 1. Destroy that one. Destroy that one. Destroy that one. Okay, let's go get the 2 by 4 by 1. 2 by 4 by 1. Rotate, rotate. 1. And two, like that. Yeah, we'll just, we'll leave it alone. We'll leave it like that. And then I need a two by two, right? Two by two by one. Is that the same size? Yep. Rotate, rotate, turn, turn. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Let's just leave it. We'll leave it. It's fine. Floors, rotate. Hopefully that'll fit right in there. Ooh. Oh, nice. Dude. That was wicked. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Joink. Oh, I don't know if that's enough. That might not be big enough. Is it big enough? No, nope, it's not big enough. Dang it. Uh, let's get a little piece of this right here. Small piece, small piece. And that should complete. There we go. Wait, did that just... That was weird. Alright. So if we do a little half block of this, then we can just do a little sliver of the other stuff. And that fills it in. Right? <laughs> kind of conserve the wood, because we're, we're still got the X to do. Or wait, do I have more? I don't think I've got more over there. Come on, be big. Yeah. The X is going to be epic. By the way, um, if you ever see the icon or the logo, PAX, and it's red, that means PAX East. Um, if it is blue, I think it's PAX West. Yeah, blue is PAX West. Purple is, no. Yellow is PAX South. No, that's PAX Australia. Uh, orange is PAX South. Then I think purple is PAX Unplugged. Yeah, PAX Unplugged is purple. And PAX Dev is teal. It's like a really light teal color, light green. And then PAX Online, it's usually for East, like that's where it started, but it's for all of them. And it too is red. <sighs> mm, excuse me. Had a little burpy burp. I'm super excited. Like, and I think my family's excited too. Like, I didn't think they were going to get the badges. I don't think they thought they were going to get the badges. But it also, uh, it'll sign my kids up for a whole bunch of uh, free... Um, me media keys, um, game keys that they can use uh, to play video games on their channels. Um, Oliver does not have his full-on channel yet. I know he keeps claiming that he's got one. He don't. That was way too big. Way too big. Hold on. We need to go back to Pax East. There we go. Pax East. There we go. 
and it looks like I'm going to be using the 4x4s. So, uh, let's go down to, or the, is it 2x2? Two two? Is it 2x2? Two two? Which one is the same size as that? Yeah, it's 2x2. Two two. So, this goes 1, rotate, rotate, 2, and then I think it's a gap. Rotate, rotate. Oh, I hope this is tall enough. One, rotate, rotate. Two. All right, turn, turn. Rotate, rotate. One. Turn, turn. Nope, turn, turn, rotate, rotate. Two. And it's straight X's, isn't it? Oh, I should have measured off of that. Oh, it's going to be too small. Dang it. Should we go 3-3? Three, three, three? Maybe we should do 3-3. Three, three. Hold on. Let's take a look at this and see what it looks like first. Rotate, rotate. Turn, turn. Because if it's, if it's way off, then yeah, I'm going to change it. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Rotate, rotate. Turn, turn. Well, it's slightly off. It's off by like one. If I go with the three, three, it's going to be too big. Dang it. Well, shoot. They're all the same angles, aren't they? Hmm. That's okay. It's okay. We're, we we've ran out of time. It's past thirty minutes, so we'll just we'll just go with it. Just goes to show you can't always be perfect, you know. And everybody makes little mistakes here and there. Oh gosh, why is this? Ugh, it's hard to see. Let's go ahead and fill it in. So I think I should be able to use just a, a regular floor. Rotate. And that should fit right in there. Nice. So now I can go back to the wedges. And it was a what, two by two? Two by two by one. So let's see. Rotate. Turn turn. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Okay, so that one goes there. Turn, turn. There. Rotate, rotate. There. Nice. So you should be able to see how the design works, right? Now this does look a little too tall. Dang it. Hmm. I guess I could just come down a little bit. We'll we'll get it fixed. I'll come back in here and we'll we'll do this again. We've got four days, uh, five days. No, however far away Sunday is. So you got plenty of time to do the competition. You have plenty of time to go and sign up to try and win yourself a badge. And there's more than enough time if you want to take your family independently uh, and just go purchase tickets and hotels. You know. Plan out the road trip coming up here in uh, April, April time frame. I say April or August. I think it's April. January, February, March, April. Yeah, it's April. April 21st through the 24th. A lot of you are like, Code, why, why do you advertise those? They, they don't represent Roblox. I advertise gamers and gaming and packs. I like going to just because it's got a whole bunch of... Uh, independent people creating games and I love seeing people use the different 
features of Unity and uh, Unreal Engine. There's a couple of independent game makers that do their own engines. I think somebody just came in my room. Oh no, look out, code. There's people coming for you. <clears throat> Kids are supposed to be in bed. I don't think they heard me. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, am I going to have enough? I think I'm going to run out. I'm going to run out. No. Nope. Just enough. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'll cut this in half. That way I've got one for the mistakes I made. Just in case. There we go. Nice. And I can make that um, my thingy too. But when I do, I'm probably going to manipulate this so it's the same size. <laughs> That's it. So look for the link down below. Sign up for the, the competition and get your tickets now. Because if you wait too long, it's going to be too expensive for flights and for hotel rooms and stuff like that. So thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call at the end of the videos. But it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here, you watched, you had fun, and I love you for that. I will see you guys at PAX East. <sighs> Outro.